Hello again, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Joe Hindi from AndroidAuthority.com. Earlier, we did the best new Android apps from 2018, and of course, that means we have to do the best new Android games of 2018. So, let's get started. Okay, so we basically did this the same way as we did with the app video. We ran a poll, used your feedback to help us make our decisions, and we came up with a list. We're only going to cover our five favorites in this video, but we do have a full list of 15 along with a whole bunch of honorary mentions in the article version which is linked up in the video description below. If you don't see your favorite 2018 game here, check there too. HQ Trivia was the very first Android game launched in 2018 with its first quiz round played just moments after midnight on New Year's. It brings with it one of the most unique mobile quiz game experiences ever, and aside from the occasional network issue, it's actually a pretty fun game. Here's what the game is like. Once a day and twice a day on weekdays, players gather in the game to compete in a live game show complete with a live host. Each player that shows up gets the same 12 questions and the players left standing at the end all split the for real cash prize. The host is usually Scott Rogowski, although other hosts have graced the game's big stage as well. It's quick, it's simple, and it's surprisingly intense. It feels like a real game show. Games take place at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on weekdays and 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every day. The limited number of plays per day helps keep the game from feeling too repetitive because you can't binge play it. There are some concerns about the networking issues and there are some people who like to cheat the system because they suck. However, for the most part, it's something we've never seen before and that's difficult to do on a Google Play Store with millions and millions of apps and games. Part-Time UFO is the first release of HAL Laboratories, the developers of the popular Kirby series, as well as the first Super Smash Bros. game. So you know what you're kinda getting here. A family-friendly game with easy mechanics, no in-app purchases, and no advertising. Part-Time UFO delivers all of that in spades. The game starts with an alien crash landing on Earth, and your job is to help it complete jobs with its little spaceship and its little hook. I'm not gonna lie to you, this game is adorable. The soundtrack is perfect for this kind of thing, and the mechanics really are easy, even if the levels themselves get more and more difficult. There are also little customizations that you can buy with the money that you earn, and several medals per level for completing the tasks in a specific way. Virtually nobody who has played this game dislikes it. It rocks a 4.9 rating on the Google Play Store, it's a rock solid experience with no crashes or issues that we could find, and it's just a fun little arcade puzzle game. Maybe the three metal system is a little overplayed and maybe the game could have had some variety of mechanics, but maybe I don't care about that stuff because I was busy having fun. In any case, this is a great mobile game. The Room Old Sins is an easy choice for a video like this. It's the fourth game in a critically acclaimed indie puzzle franchise, it rocks virtually a perfect rating on Google Play, and there honestly isn't anything wrong with it. It's a continuation of one of the best and one of the first truly great premium mobile gaming experiences. Those who have played The Room before know what's happening. You solve a series of intricate puzzles, each one leading to even more intricate puzzles. The previous three games took place in a series of regular sized rooms. Old Sins still takes place in a series of rooms, but these rooms are in a dollhouse. You play as an investigator trying to find the null element, and players make their way through the dollhouse to break the seal and obtain said element. What else can I say here? The graphics are outstanding, the mechanics are enjoyable, smooth, and engaging, and Fireproof Games has gotten a lot better at creating narratives. It adds some nuance that prior games didn't have while still keeping the feeling of mystery alive and well, just like its predecessors. There isn't a lot of extra analysis necessary, really. It's simply fantastic. Pocket City is a city-building simulator similar to SimCity. <sighs> Try saying that one three times fast. Anyway, its launch was somewhat innocuous. It didn't get a lot of fanfare that many other new mobile games got this year, but we think it deserves better than that because this is easily one of the most competently put together simulators that we saw all year. The game plays like you would expect a city building sim to play, and for a 2018 mobile game, that's actually one of its best features. You build a city, manage your utilities, and make sure that your city draws a profit. The game offers some fairly in-depth stats like citizen happiness, environmental impact, and even the supply and demand of your goods goods based on how you set your city's taxes. Yes, for real. It plays as fast or as slow as the player wants, and players have a ton of control along with plenty of unlockable content. Pocket City likely won't make a ton of best lists this year because the launch came and went so quickly. However, don't count this one out. It's easily one of the best city building sims currently on any platform, and after the disappointment of the freemium laden launch of SimCity Build It, it's nice to see a premium game swoop in and fill that void with a very strong experience. Our pick of the game of the year goes to both Fortnite and PUBG. 
Okay, here's the thing, folks. I personally think that Fortnite is the stronger game when compared to PUBG Mobile. However, our fan poll clearly lists PUBG as the fan favorite, so I'm going to compromise with our readers and kind of put them both here. These games provided a very similar experience for players. They are both battle royale shooters that made a monumental splash in 2018. They both feature 100 person battles where the winner is the last person standing. Players scrounge around for weapons and resources, do battle with one another, and choose their starting locations by dropping from a flying vehicle. They are more similar than they are different. Fortnite offers a more animated experience. Players can craft things, the flying vehicle is a school bus, and there is simply more stuff to do. Additionally, your account actually syncs with the console and PC version, so your unlockables are available cross-platform, and I personally think that gives it a leg up over PUBG Mobile. However, Fortnite is in beta for most devices, and you have to download it directly from the Epic Games website instead of from Google Play. I totally get how that can make the experience less enjoyable at first. PUBG Mobile, on the other hand, is available in the Play Store right now along with a light version for less powerful devices. It scales the battle down to 50 people instead of 100. PUBG Mobile plays a little more seriously with a bit more of a survival game edge, and it's not in beta which means it's more stable and currently available on more devices. On the other hand, it doesn't offer cross-device syncing, and I think that is a glaring flaw. Fortnite fans are obviously going to play Fortnite, and PUBG fans are obviously going to play PUBG Mobile, and I'm not here to argue with those people. Both of these games offer categorically similar experiences, so the better one is a matter of preference. Both of these games made Battle Royale shooters the talk of 2018, and they both deserve equal credit for it. However, if you put a gun to my head and made me choose, I'm going with Fortnite because that cross-platform support is super crucial for cross-platform games like these. And that about does it for this one, folks. If you like this video, you know exactly what to do, and if not, you still know exactly what to do. The full 15-game article is linked up in the video description below, as are links for all of the games mentioned in this video. As always, thanks for watching, everybody, and have a wonderful day.